Now, there's a lot of jargon and abbreviations used in the world of driving, and you may not think it's important to fully understand what they mean. However, with the winter months approaching, some of these abbreviations and jargon terms may be really useful to understand. Now you may have heard of traction control or TCS which means traction control system and all this does is reduces the amount of tyre slippage you'll encounter when accelerating on a slippery surface such as snow or ice. For you veteran drivers out there you'll remember that prior to traction control you'd have to feather the accelerator very gently and traction control does work in a similar way in the sense that it reduces the amount of power delivered to the driver. But don't be misled into thinking that traction control will actually increase the traction that your car has it will just stop your tires from spinning so situations where you get stuck in the snow will still require some additional help And then there is ABS, or as you may know it as anti-lock braking system. The ABS system monitors the speed of each wheel and detects when the wheels lock up. When it detects sudden braking, the system will release braking pressure for a very short amount of time and then supply each wheel with the optimum amount of braking pressure. By repeating this process in a very short amount of time, this enhances the steering control over the car during a sudden stop, but will also improve the stopping ability of the car. Then there is a system called VSC, which stands for Vehicle Stability Control. This helps prevent side skids and will also help stabilize the vehicle during tight curves. When the system recognizes that there's a loss of traction or that the car is slipping, braking is automatically supplied to all four tires and power is limited to the drive. For example, if the steering wheel refuses to turn due to overpower or as it's commonly known as understeer, the system will take control and move towards the inner curve. Also, when the vehicle begins to spin from abrupt steering handling or oversteering as it's commonly known, the vehicle will take control to steer toward the outer curve. Now we'll be back soon with some more jargon buster tips, but if you need any additional help in the meantime don't hesitate to contact us or visit us at www.borrowsmotorcompany.co.uk